kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another videos on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video series, I am going to teach you how you can implement the Facebook ads in your Android application. Alright, so in in this series, I will be covering some, uh, I think, five or six parts, and in every part, I will tell you and I will teach you the uh, how you can place the ads in your Android application for the Facebook ads audience network so in this video without wasting any time I will teach you how you can use or how you can implement the banner ads in your Android application and it will be the professional way of implementing the banner ads okay so after uh, after uh, you uh, see this video you will be able to implement any type of uh, any type of banner ads in your Android application all right so let's get started so let's get started so let's first of all create a new project and we create an empty project and we name the empty project as my facebook ads okay alright so now we have the we have created the project so first of all we have to add the dependency for the Facebook SDK so for this let me show you so here we have this dependency for the Facebook so we can add it here so you have to copy this and paste it here so make sure that you use the the latest version of the audience library and you need to click on sync now so in the meanwhile okay so you can see con the, the configure is successful so first of all we have to use the internet permission so for this we have to say internet and after this what we are going to do is we are going to use the xml file and inside this xml instead of this constant layout let me write relative layout and instead of this text view we will use a linear layout for our ad view so for this we can say linear layout and we can say wrap content wrap content then we set the assign the id to this linear layout and it will be ad view and then we can say it to be aligned parent uh, bottom it will be true and also make sure that you use the vertical orientation of this linear layout okay suppose if we want to have 50 dp so you will be able to see let me write match parent and there you can see we have this place for our ads so we will use the wrap content and i think the match parent is okay here all right so the, the next thing is what we are going to do we have to initialize or bind this linear layout inside our main activities so for this we can say linear layout and we can say linear layout add view then inside our own create method what we are going to do is here we can say linear layout add view equal to linear layout and we have to use find view by id r dot id dot add view all right so now we have the add view here so i mean the linear layout so first now what we have to do is we have to write add view okay and then we have to initialize our add view so for our add view we can say add view equal to new add view and inside this we are going to pass on first of all the context of our activity and then we have to specify the placement id so you can get the placement id from your facebook audience manager so I will write empty string here for now and then for the add size we can say add size dot banner height 50 okay so you have two heights either you can have a banner height 50 or you can have banner height 
90 but for uh, this example we will use the banner height 50 so we specify the height of it and then we just need to add the view so for this we can say linear layout add view dot add add view and inside this we can pass on our add view object so finally after we have done adding the add view to our linear layout we are going to load the add so for in order to load the add we can simply say add view dot load add okay so that's how you can display a banner ad and then you can also use the listener for your ad view so for this you can say add view dot set add listener and then you can say new add view add listener and there you can see there are many methods uh, that are over written so for example we have the on add loaded then we have on add click then we have on login impression so if we want to make the listener so here we make a toast message and we write main activity dot this and then we are saying that on error and we specify the add error so we can say add error dot get error message then we say toast dot length long dot show okay similarly i will uh, copy it and i will paste it inside our own add load it so here we can just remove the this line and then we can simply say on add loaded okay then another we have is the on add click so we can say on add clicked all right that's it so let me run the code and let's see if it works or not so i have already connected my device and okay so in order to display the ad we need to have a placement id so i will use the test id so let me check for the test id so i can say test id's facebook sdk and i think it will be stack overflow Alright though, so the app is getting installed, but I want the test ad, so I will open my project from another, <laughs> from where I had this, so let me check. Okay, so there is an error, because if I run the app, so here if I run it again, so you will have the error. Here if we open it and there you can you will be able to see own error and it is the parameter placement id is required okay so for this here you can see we have to just copy the line and we have to paste it inside our here so this is your placement id for your banner id and this is uh, if you want to display the test ad so you have to add this before your test uh, before your placement ID so if we run the app now and I hope that it will display the banner ad to our application so uh, we are installing the app again and yes the app is now installed and you will be able to see the banner ad here and yes you can see the Facebook test ad and you can see on load ad loaded method is called alright so if we click on it let me click on the ad and there you will be able to see the toast message and you can see on ad clicked alright so that's it so that's how you can implement the banner ad in your android application so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye for now and also in my next part of this video series i will 
teach you about the interstitial ads and then inside in our part 3 I will teach you how we can use the native ads and also I forgot to tell you how you can how you can generate your API key or you can say placement ID so you have to go to your Facebook monetization manager and you have to click on home then here you can see so I will click on go to here you have to add the let me show tell you where you have to create the placement so yes you can create some uh, property so you will create a property and inside that you can create the okay so if i press on this and here it is showing me the all the analytics and from there you can generate your own placement id all right so goodbye